It'd be like the same as like a, a race car driver, you know, driving the roads as a kid as opposed to only driving them roads when you become a race car driver, if you know what I mean. It's like we was around the river before we started working around the river. Gudgeon 35. 48 car. If that makes any sense, I was like, there's a prior knowledge to, before you even start, and it's like you don't even know you know that until, I don't know, until someone asks you a question or until, I don't know, you point it out and you think it's interesting. Behind me today, uh, we have the River Murray and Mallee Aboriginal Corporation Rangers and our um, Chowla floodplain ecologists. They're out here doing uh, fish and uh, tadpole monitoring. It started when we commenced an operation of the Chowla Regulator uh, in August. The high natural flow has now taken over and so we will continue to monitor what's happening with fish and tadpoles right through this um, really unique high flow event. This is our third round of monitoring tadpoles during the flood event at Chowla. So we've monitored them in early spring, mid spring, and now this is sort of the late spring round. And we'll continue to monitor them as the flood recedes next year. And so that will capture the later stages of development or whether there's a second round of tadpole breeding. So we've got the Armac Rangers with us today. Um, so these guys know their species really well and they've been helping us count and identify all the fish and all the tadpoles that we catch. I reckon it's great actually, yeah. Yeah, it's really fun and enjoyable working with them. Like um, we get to show them things that we know and they show us things that they know that we don't know. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, it's really fun. Yeah. yeah. Especially you get to come to a place like this when it's flooded. Yeah, definitely. Here comes Luke with a really big catch apparently, <laughs> with lunch, <laughs> so I think we might be counting for a while. It's good to see some Southern Bells um, uh, tadpoles in there, um, I really like to see um, different uh, fish besides the carp gudgeons, <laughs> um, I get really excited when there's a hardy head or a flat head gudgeon in there, yeah. <laughs> it's fun, I love it. Yeah, me too. It's good. I want to continue doing this because it's real fun and exciting, so I love doing it. I can't say I'm excellent at it, but I do know most of the species, yeah. So an event like this in this region of Murray potentially hasn't happened since the 70s and maybe even the 50s. And so all types of monitoring, including tadpole monitoring, um, during this time is really crucial to helping us understand how these um, ecosystems function. It's so great that Grace and I can have Bill and Susan out today. Without this kind of partnership, we wouldn't be able to monitor the extent of the floodplain that we are. Quite a few weather loaches around here at um, Lake Litra. Yeah, and these are introduced species. I'm not sure why that anyone would want to introduce these. Definitely I'll be out here next year. Yeah, I'm definitely hoping to maybe continue in this role for the next couple of years or maybe um, get it, be in a different role than Armac, but yeah, hope, hope to stay with Armac. This partnership um, hopefully will continue for a number of years um, and build capacity within the ranger team and then go on to train uh, another generation of Armac rangers as well. Mm -hmm.